Welcome to my third tutorial. This one is for the spinning and moving track technique, which was the second clip in my Dominoes vs. Rube Goldberg's Screen Link collaboration with Star Rider. Here is what it looks like. Now the way the trick is actually assembled is actually quite simple, but I really think that it looks a whole lot more complicated than it actually is. I got a lot of comments saying how impressed people were by this trick, and of course the request for a tutorial. So, as always, I will be sure to explain things fully so that you can use this technique in your own Rube Goldberg machines. This technique is similar to the last one in regard to the fact that it does require basically the same materials that you see here. That being said, these are very common materials, and if you have connects, you'll easily be able to make this. If you make Rube Goldberg machines, you should have the rest of these materials. Dominoes, track, and string. The assembly for this trick is also very simple, so if you're not that great with connects, it's totally okay. And also, I will show you step-by-step step how to make it, so don't worry. Now, let's go through the materials that you're going to need quickly. You're going to need two dominoes. You're going to need one piece of short track, preferably compatible with Kinex pieces. String. Now onto the Kinex pieces themselves, you're going to need one blue rod, two long red rods, one orange connector, and three yellow connectors. Oh, and two tires. Now those are the materials that you're going to need if you want to make the basic bare bones assembly for this technique, but if you want to make it pretty much the exact same way that it was in the Dominoes vs. Rube Goldberg's video, here are some extra materials that you might need, most of which can be interchanged with other similar materials. For example, you can use VHS tapes, but really all you need is something that will prevent the track from turning. I'm using Jenga blocks, but all you need is some kind of support, and then I'm using golf balls, but all you need is a ball heavy enough that will turn the track. You may also want any sort of other track, and I'm also going to be using the marble track that I have, simply because that's how I made it in the Dominoes vs. Rube Goldberg's video. So, without any further ado, let's start building. So you're going to start by taking two of the yellow pieces and sliding them into the second groove here on the red rod. Two of them are going to go on each side, like that and one of them is going to go in the center. Now here's something interesting, cool, and very helpful that you may not have known about Connects pieces. On the rods, especially the longer ones, like the red and the gray ones, there is usually a very faint circle that marks the center of the rod. Now, you can use this to line up this yellow Connects piece here in the very center of the rod, just like that. Now, the second thing you're going to do is take the other red rod and line it up in the same position on the other side, like this. Once you have done that, you're going to take the blue rod and slide it into the center piece, just like that, and then stack up the tires and put it right through, like that, and then you're going to attach the, t uh, the track here. So, now I'm done here, but as you may have noticed, we still have one extra orange connector here, but you'll see what that is for in a second. Now the next step is to position this entire structure as far back as you want it on the table. Now in my case, I'm going to want it pretty close to the end of the table here, but I'm going to have to leave room for the track that's going to go in front of it. So, this position looks um, pretty good. So, what I'm going to do now is take my extra orange connector that we have left over, and I'm just going to place it right in front of the two tires here, just to kind of mark the spot. Now, after I've done that, I'm going to tape it down. Now, what you're wondering is why I'm using a connects piece. Now, the reason is simply because it has a hole. I'm not using it as, an, as a connects piece, but it's going to make a great pulley once we stick the string through it. The next step is going to be to attach the string. The problem is, 
I can't really give you that many details on how to do this because the length of your string is going to be completely different than mine depending on how you want yours to be set up. So, I guess the best thing I can do is just position this wherever you want it and then measure out the string to the length that you want it. So, mine's going to be right about here, that long, and I'm going to take it and cut it. Alright, so now we've got our string here, and what we're going to do is thread it through the hole in the connects piece, and attach one end to the tire, and one end to the two dominoes. Okay, so, now I am done with my setup, and this is what it looks like. Now I know what you're thinking. Jack of all spades 98. You can't possibly try to tell me that that is the end of the tutorial. That does not tell me anything about how to make the track turn, and that doesn't look much of anything like how it did in the real video. Well, the thing is, I really have taught you everything you really need to know. I've taught you how to build the spinning part, and I've taught you how to make the moving part. It's really up to you as to how you want to make the track spin, and when you want to make it move. So, you can do it with ramps like I did in the original video. In fact, that's what I'll be telling you how to do next, in case you want to build it exactly the way I did. But I really do challenge you to try to come up with some other interesting ways as to how to make the track turn. Possibly like that. I don't know. But, if you want to make it the same way I did, that tutorial starts now. So, as I said in the beginning of the video, these are the materials that you're going to need if you want to build it the same way I did. Not the car, though. The first thing you want to do is determine the position of the track to start with. So, I'm going to start uh, right about here. And that makes these dominoes uh, start right about here for this to work. All right. Now obviously you're going to have a track that comes along here and the ball is going to roll across it. I'm not going to show you how to do that. That's pretty obvious. But what I am going to show you is how to make the track turn, which obviously what I'm going to do, just do here is set up a track underneath it and then just have a ball roll down it. Now, how do you make it stop? That's a good question. If I just roll a golf ball down here, it'll actually spin around multiple times before coming to a completely arbitrary stop somewhere around half a rotation or like a half a rotation it'll end up like that or something so you want to be able to determine where it's going to stop see uh, this is how far it goes and it almost, it almost makes a complete 180 rotation but you want to stop it here so obviously the easiest way to do that is to put something there that will stop it so let's just put one of these heavy blocks here in this case I'm using VHS tapes as I said before you can use whatever you want here so now when I roll a uh, golf ball down here, it'll stop right about there. Alright, so you're going to do the same thing down at the bottom to make it stop. So once this comes down here, it's going to stop right at the uh, orange piece here. I've got a runaway ball here. And then, for the second ramp, you just kind of stick it underneath here. I'm assuming uh, you're going to want like put another domino here to connect it to another part of the machine. So I left a little curve at the end here. And then, of course, what's going to happen is this, cause this is going to roll down here, and you're going to want to stop it parallel to it, this track here. So right about there is a good stopping point. All right, so what should happen now is that. So if this all works together, it should look a little bit like this. So, if this worked exactly the way mine just did, you're done. 